Hey, thank you guys for clicking on this video. My name is Elliot. This is Freelance Duck Hunting. And today I'm going to show you one of my very favorite Freelance Duck Hunting videos that was ever recorded. Danny Boy's in it. Aiden's in it. Fumbles is in it. It's this big lake hunt and we really, really got into him. It was. But before we get to that, I want to share some news with you I'm really excited about. As of right now, on Roku, Freelance Duck Hunting is the only free waterfowl hunting channel over there. So if you have a Roku, you can search Freelance Duck Hunting and you can install that and watch all the episodes from Freelance Duck Hunting. And the thing I'm really excited about this Thanksgiving, starting Thanksgiving morning, running clear to Sunday, we are going to have a Freelance Duck Hunting Marathon. It's going to run on live stream and it's going to be the Roku channel with the company I'm working with named Streamfire and it's going to run on here on YouTube, live stream, Thanksgiving morning, clear through Sunday, marathon. So if you wake up and you want something to do, hop here on, hop on here on YouTube, check out that marathon. In the meantime, over at Roku, if you've got one, you can see all those old episodes and stuff. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. So, um, you know, let's get right into this hunt. You're going to love it. Thank you guys for watching. Here you go. Well, that's sweet of you. Yeah, it's going to be a good season. Yeah, that does not look like a comfortable pack, Gary. I don't know why he's balking. He's a young guy. A mule. That is a fat, beautiful green head. Shot uh, him. The duck mortar. I say two terms of trumpet will be allowed to do that. Did you see him bank around this corner? Yeah, that was they just beautiful. came in. We did not expect to shoot this many ducks. So, this is certainly the best day we've had for quite a while. The weather has changed, and we have a massive cold front that's come through. So, it temperatures have been, oh, what, about 15 this morning, 17 this morning. So, Aiden's with us today. We met him on, I don't know, one of the other hunts. Yeah, we made him eat ravioli and he got sick. Dan's here as usual. So we got our little kayaks and we are putting on this little river channel here that is actually over our heads. So we're gonna hug really close to the shoreline. What's all over your bag? So it's, uh, it's just some paint I found in the garage. And you just poured it in there? Well, I figured it'd like make it waterproof. You thought throwing paint in your bag would make it waterproof? Yeah, because it's latex enamel, right? So, but the problem is it gets so cold, it just shifts up. Yeah, I think you were thinking like Dan on that one. He waterproofed your bag with paint. So it's like water resistant now. Yeah, uh-huh. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Yep. So I'm filming and using the Ode Pro KL52 for that function too, this flashlight. I've showed you guys before, if you haven't picked it up yet, great Christmas gift. Um, I put a link in the description below, click on it, go over to Amazon, 49 bucks. This thing is incredible. Don't forget to go pick one up, because they are amazing. Right, Izzy? Jeez. There goes Aiden, risking his life for pure pleasure. What are you cooking, Dan? Well, I wanted bacon, and I didn't have it. So I took uh, some pork steak and did my very best to cut it really thin. Yeah. And it looked like bacon on the counter. But again, I told you I had that science project thing I had to do uh -huh. for my kid. So I'm not sure if I used seasoned salt or a whole bunch of thyme. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, whenever Dan gets cooking, the coyotes start going nuts. Did you see the video where he made burritos? Is that one of the teal? Yeah, yeah. and the coyotes just started going yeah. nuts like yeah. right after that. Oh, Dan, looks like you did good. Mm-hmm, you nailed it. Good. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Chef Dan strikes again. So we're gonna give it another hour here, and uh, if we don't see anything, then we'll move. So we're gonna make a move here. 
just nothing moving, but we've got a plan B um, from Fumble Scout and Yeshin. He's gonna meet us what, I feel pretty decent about this spot. We gotta get rolling. We're gonna get out there and get a shot. Man, ain't turkeys everywhere. He's everywhere. Holy crap. Uh, we are at spot number two of the day. An old Skittle Middle, Fumble Middle's here. Ah, that does not look like a comfortable pack to carry. But the center of gravity is low. It's good. <laughs> he offered to carry my gear, but he balked when I asked him to carry me. Yeah. I don't know why he's balking. He's a young guy. A mule. Okay, while well, we're here, this little bay, we walk down to it, drug all our equipment. All right, so here's the bay. The wind is in our face. So we're gonna try to get them to circle down in toward the shoreline and then circle toward the decoys out in front of us. Hey, if you've never watched this before, make sure that you subscri subscribe and uh, you can get updates from our hunts. We do every single hunt of the 2016 season. We also see every single hunt from 2015. So make sure that you subscribe um, for updated hunts in the future. All right, we're waiting for something to happen. Well, let me know how you do. Elliot's talking to a friend on another lake. All right, take care. Right here, Elliot. Nice. All right. Whose turn? Easy. Stay, Candy. <laughs> so, we do what we want. Were you guys telling me? Huh? Yeah, I was telling you. Did you get it on video? I did. I'm on the phone. Elliot's talking on the phone when the ducks are flying in. <laughs> you dumb butt. They, how'd they come in? They come in like we want them to? Yes, exactly. I didn't see until I shot at them. Yeah, they, they came in exactly the way. Aiden is over there thanking God for his duck. <laughs> so they banked around like this? Huh? Banked My like this? Yes, left or right. His streak has ended. <laughs> He's back in the money. God. He said, praise the Lord. <laughs> It was Izzy's turn to be first dog. Oh, hey, I feel better about our spread now. Comes another duck. <laughs> Circling around. Here it comes. Oh, Elliot sluiced him. <laughs> Just like, well, here comes I Candy. What, I think the way they're doing, I think a shooter sitting right here makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Elliot, Elliot has been dogging Candy for the last two years about her not being steady. Yeah, that was bad. And look what is he did. I was even screaming at her. She was a naughty oh, dog. That was bad. Poor Candy. That is a fat. Beautiful green head. Land them and sluice them. I did sluice him, but man, that is a beauty. Hell, it's two for two. Jeez, what a beauty. Is this thing dead? Yeah. Candy's still complaining behind me. That is an absolutely beautiful duck. Boy, it is. That. Wow. That is a nice one. Bright orange well, feet. Hey, I know three mileage isn't much, but when we've on the big dry spells we've been on, the three mallards are feeling pretty good, so happy with that for sure. So we had a pair of flaris, so we got out the tarps here. So getting a little more hidden. Not a banner day, but hey, three mallard drakes, we will take it. Those two. Get them, get them. Dan, did you see these two low ones right off to the left? Right here, yeah. yeah, is that where you were shooting at? As soon as they started landing, I got completely blinded by this tree here. Right here, right here, right here. Dang, do you have another shell? Stay easy. Oh, thank God you guys got that one. Damn. Guys. But it took six shots. Seriously, is he? No, no, no. Nope. Is he? No. No. Is he? No. No. 
Well, the past three groups we've had haven't came in, and every time these hooligans try and fix something with our setup, ducks try and come in close, so I think they need to go back out and try and fix something else. Feels so good to get out of that slump. Man. Oh. That drop, did you get that on camera? Yeah. That dropped right in the hole there. Yeah. How'd you kick your vest? Oh, I'm definitely not as good at filming as that later. I keep getting distracted and there's nothing on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that retrieved. Good girl. Good shot, Dan. Good boy. Shooting a few too many hens, but yeah. But hey, we're getting them. Yeah. Shot a double. Sure. Sharing one with Carl. Nice. But nice. He's a beaut. So we're we're at seven ducks now. Andy, come here. Seven on the day, all mallards. to the left. Look at that beauty. Yeah. Green wings on a cold December Did day. Did you see them bank around this corner? Yeah, that they just came in. <laughs> well, we're still hoping that this duck that Dan shot at falls over dead out there and floats in. But There's a chance. It's not looking like it's going to happen. <laughs> right? <laughs> really hard to time. A duck mortar. You can take out a whole crowd and just get your limit. Like one... Boom. <laughs> or I say two terms of trumpet will be allowed to do that. <laughs> and believe me, it'll be bigly. So Dan shot the shot way too long, and I was making fun of him about it, but that bird kept swimming into shore. It's like Dan finally came up with it. Good girl. Nice shooting. You got it. You got it. Four Beauty. shots. I don't know where I got them. I think the drakes have the black bill, I think, and the hens have a yellow bill kind of freckled, so I could believe. I like gadwells. I seem to get a lot of gadwells. I like gadwells too. This feather right here yeah. is super. If you get it where it's not all beat up, it's a beautiful feather. Oh, it's like, it looks like silk. I know. <laughs> That, I don't know if I've ever seen a wood duck actually cup its wings and really drop like that. that I mean, it was like... Yeah, it was trying to come in. Yeah, what a beauty. 
slayed it. Yeah, that was Beauty. a clean kill. Look at these feathers right here. These feathers right here. Flank feathers. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Are just incredible. Look at the head. Yeah. A little mohawk. Purple. Yeah. Iridescent in the beak. Like chrome color. Yeah, what a beauty. Look at the red on the eye, too. Yeah. Be a Drake as I've ever shot. Look at all the iridescence Pur on it. Purple. Red, orange. Yeah, look at that. My favorite ducks. Favorite. Yeah, what a beauty. <laughs> this day's getting better and better, huh? We did not expect to shoot this many ducks. So. This is certainly the best day we've had for quite a while. We're at 11 now, and uh, so we're having a good day. We've shot a few too many, few too many hens, if you know, compared to what we like to shoot. But when you're going through as big a cold spell as we're going through, we're going to take anything that comes in. So we've got three drake mallards, two green wing teal, uh, four hens, a wood duck drake, and a gadwall. Uh, old pummel mitts back there making a fire, and we're going to eat some duck. Let them come, let them come back around. Oh, Dan, why aren't you shooting? Watch that one. He's dead. He's dead. Right here, another group. Get him, get him. Yeah! I don't know if I got that one. And there's another one wounded there. One, two, I didn't even shoot. This is stupid kit. These stupid kit shells get stuck in my gun. That's just what I was talking about. But I think it's the kit shell. We just had awesome, massive flocks of green wing coming in. Yeah, and we took three out of it. Oh. That one's on the shoreline, Dan. Dan shot a double. Aiden shot one, Dan shot a double. Who shot the one over there that has got to go and get it? That's Aiden. Yeah, yeah, that one's mine. No, Dan, another one that you shot, Dan, is I over there wounded on the... I got a double? Yeah. It went, it went clear over here and landed on the shoreline. You know, I think we should, like one of us should actually be carrying like a salt shaker or like the barbecue sauce powder, like the rub. Yeah. Just in our bag or something. Yeah. Overdone? I like mine rare, but that's a little that's rare. That's a little too rare. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the show. I told you. Yep, you were right. Duck meat is supposed to be rare. You know. And that that is not rare for duck meat. That's that's just warmed over. And then there's rare. I had I ate, I ate mine so much rarer than that, and they're rejecting it and sending it back to me like I'm some kind of freaking <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not a I'm not a restaurant. Look, I'm I'm saying it too. It's a little too rare. You know, you ate yours without even cooking it, and then you criticize my eggs. saying that you guys are just complainers and that rare meat should be eaten. Duck's supposed to be rare. Okay, not that rare. That was like, you should have seen how I ate mine. It, <laughs> Aiden, it kind of tasted like fish, didn't it? I it was like... Say I didn't really enjoy it. Right. <laughs> kind of wish that I had filmed that last little bit because there was mallards and teal everywhere. But they weren't coming right into our decoy spread, and they were they were everywhere. And um, so everything settled down, and we had a big wad of teal right outside our decoys. And so um, when everything flushed up, we unloaded on them, and we dropped four green wing. And two of them we lost. So we ended up with 18 ducks, two lost, and we're gonna go home. So that was a really good hunt, really enjoyable. Yeah. 
just say old Danny boy is winded. What is it, Melvin? <laughs> 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 <laughs>